Hey guys, it's Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything. I'm going to report this story to you and I hope it makes sense to you because it doesn't make sense to me. Number one, when I saw the story, I said, no, you are kidding me. You are lying. This can't be true right now. And I was supposed to be reported it, but I had so many things going on yesterday. The crypto market went crazy. I had so many other things to cover. I said, okay, I'll do it another day. Another day. But right now, I think it's the right time to report it. And first, before I go into it, let me let me say something. Human being should not have a price on them. The life of an infant, a child, or a human being, period. Do you know how hard it is to, number one, conceive a child, then give birth to the baby, and then take care of this child to become somebody to make sure they get everything they need to make it in this world. Now, for you to abandon your child at the airport, my thing is, number one, who are these people? At the same thing, I am thinking, mommy and daddy, or two people, none of them can say, man, cancel the trip. But to turn your back on the child, abandon the child, when you go in, when you get to your destination, not even destination, the minute in your mind you say, leave the child, is this how much this child worth to you? Nothing. How can you abandon your child, whether you were with the father? When it comes to a woman, we have this instinct, we have this empathy we have this way of feeling we're supposed to protect our own baby and for you to abandon your child it just doesn't make sense to me and i hope it makes sense to you i'm gonna go read it and at the end conclude my opinion and i am not here to judge nobody but to abandon your child at the airport knowing anything can happen to the child to not turn back to realize oh my god this is my child nothing matter in this moment it's just ridiculous i hope you let me know how you feel couple abandoned baby at the airport when they learned they had to pay 27 dollar to him for him to fly on a u.s domestic flights babies fly free as a lap infant children under two years of age don't need their own seat and it doesn't cost extra to bring them on a plane. How do you know that? You see, you learn as you go. Outside the U.S., policies way, and for international travel, there is unusual, unusual a charge, which can be as high as 10% or more of the cost of a paid ticket plus taxes. A couple arrived at the Tel, Tel Aviv airport which is in Israel, for Ryanair 4710, the 12.55 p.m. flights to Brussels, Charleroi, on Tuesday. They were traveling with their infant son, but hadn't paid the airlines the 25, which is 27 $27.14 fee for an infant in lap. While some reports have said that the parents refused to pay the fee, in fact, Ryanair's checked in counters were closed and they could not pay. We're talking about $27.14. To me, this is nothing. So you're going to abandon your child. You're going to turn back on your child for $27. Is this how much he, his life worth to you? My goodness, you could not say cancel or wait another time. We booked because you got to have your baby with you. They left the baby. Let's see. They left the baby at the ticket counter and proceed to security. Ryanair called Israel police. The parents were located and taken into custody for questioning. The baby was returned to its parents, according to the airport authority. I don't know if that baby is going to be okay. If you did not care to leave the baby there, why would I return that child back to you? 
you don't care for that child's lives or safety. A couple with a baby holders of a Virgin passport arrived on a Ryanair flight as Terminal 1 without a ticket for the baby. The couple arrived late for the flight. After the flight checked in, Connor had clothes. They left the basket with the baby and wanted to go up in the security checked in Terminal 1 to get the departure gate. The ground service shift manager took the couple back to the flight Connors to pick up the baby and call the police and a security guard. After that, the couple took the baby. I don't know. This is this is crazy. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. What is the strip? What is so important about the strip that you would willing to abandon your child to go to your final destination? I'm not understanding if that child's safety gonna be okay. And if it was in America, with all the respect, which I give credit to, they would not have the baby. They would not return the baby to them right away. They would have called CPS, Child Protective Services. They would have so many investigations going on, going to parenting classes. They would have to learn something before you get that baby back. Because I am optimistic. I choose to believe that the parents were going through security to find someone they could pay in order to bring their child. I don't think so. Most of the stories around this have framed it as parent leave baby behind as though they were giving Ryaners their baby instead of $25. They could not proceed through the security without a ticket for their son, which they couldn't get without paying the fee. So at least both, both should not go if it's to look for help. One would hold the baby and the other one go look for help. Give me a break. I know people want to try to be fair and nice to people's behavior. This, this, this is no reason for you to abandon your baby, period. While it's unfortunate that they, would, they wouldn't have been any later Ryanair's flights from Israel to Brussels South Airport, they only serve the route three days a week. The correct answer, of course, is not to leave your baby behind. Brussels Airlines offers a 4 10 p.m departure which was selling tickets 270 dollar per passenger plus around 50 for the infant at least one passenger might have stayed behind with the infant and travel later that's what i thought they could have arranged something between them but for both of them to turn their back and leave the baby it just doesn't make any sense to me Travel is complicated and it's underestimated. No, it's under understandable to think that a ticket pays for a seat so a baby who is allowed to travel without a seat wouldn't need a ticket. Facing unforeseen costs can be daunting, but losing your child seems worse. Yes, it's crazy. I'm telling you, y'all, it's crazy. I cannot understand that mindset of those people turn around and leave the baby behind. It just doesn't make any sense. Seriously. I would have canceled the flight. I would have rescheduled the flight. But to abandon the baby right there in the corner, it just doesn't make sense to me. It would never make sense to me. And they lucky they were not in America because it would cost them time lessons because they had to go to parenting classes to get this child back you don't just commit that to me it's a complete crime to abandon your child there anything can happen to the baby thank you god they find him make them come back and get the baby but imagine anything could have happened to the baby and they did not care of the result they did not care what could have happened to that baby and that baby gonna need some help in the future knowing that your parents abandon you for 27 dollars or 25 dollars of a ticket it just doesn't make any sense, y'all. Again, let me know how you feel. At the end of the day, what, how people feel and think in America is different outside, you know, internationally. I just don't think it was worth to leave your child behind after going through nine months pregnancy, pushing baby out, and now abandon your baby in the corner for $27 did not make sense to me. Let me know how you feel. Crypto Marie, she does it all. I am here to bring you 
any and every little things i feel like that would be related to you how would you react as a mother how would you feel why both parents turn their back on the child it just doesn't make sense subscribe bye